good morning students and friends i developed a solidworks drawing module with that we can learn more about the uh, projection of straight line in a uh, more interesting way say you note down these values a line measuring 75 mm long one end 10 above hp 20 in front of vp the line is inclined at 30 with respect to hp and 45 with respect to vp draw the projection the red this red one is the front view for this set this is the top view okay uh, let me change some the value you see how dynamically the the projection is being changed instead of theta 30 degree let me put only 10 degree okay 10 degree you see what happens it becomes a new problem it becomes a new problem i can narrate the problem as a line 75 mm long one end 10 above 20 in front line is inclined at 10 degrees with respect to hp and 50 degrees with respect to vp draw the projection so how you see how dynamically it changes so instead of 50 i i, I put uh, uh, 17 okay see how dynamically it changes right i reset the value as uh, 45 or maybe 25 okay suppose instead of 75 I delete 75 okay uh, instead of giving the true length let me give the distance between end projector this is the distance between end projector the distance between end projector is 45 if that is the case this is the projection okay now you see if I add there are 5 data 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 if I introduce a third data third data you see here it is fully defined here the moment I introduce it says it is over defined I told you already that uh, for the double inclination problem you, you should be given with only 5 data now I introduce a sixth data it shows it tells automatically it is over defined so I have to delete some ok let me delete this one you see what happens instead of deleting this one let me delete this one you see it is fully defined so it is a problem that uh, a line one end 10 above 20 in front uh, the front view is inclined at 36.7 degree uh, true inclination with vp is 45 degree the distance between end projector is 45 for that this is the answer okay let me delete this one and delete this one then let me give the other in position the other in position is say 40 and 85 you see how it behaves see how it behaves okay you note down this problem it's it becomes a new problem actually uh, the line one end 10 above 20 in front other end 40 above 85 in front distance between end projector is 45 okay let me check for this for this value note down the value for this uh, okay uh, for your benefit let me uh, let me type the notes okay one end 10 a hp above hp uh, 20 in front in front of vp other end 40 above hp let me this uh, aerial bold okay other end 40 above HP and 85 in front of EP the DBEP distance between end projector is 45 right one end 10 above 20 in front other end 40 above 85 in front distance between end projector is 45 
okay for this the answer will be uh the true length is 84.55 and its angle is you see here if i click this one it shows the true length as 84.55 theta 20 degree okay 84 20 pi 360 minus 309.7 okay note down instead let me delete this one let me reduce the angle of front view angle of front view is 35 okay One end ten above twenty in front, other end eighty five in front of VP. Okay, uh, alpha is equal to thirty five degrees. Okay, distance between end projector is forty five degree. If that is the case, let me see the answer. The true length is not down eighty five point one. Its angle theta twenty one degrees. True angle pi. 360 minus 310. Okay, so the there are endless possibilities in the single solid box file itself. We can do a lot of things, right? Uh, let me introduce the top view length. It gives over defined, right? Okay, okay. So because other end uh, position 85. Uh, it it won't accept. Let this be forty. Let this be eighty. Okay. Note down the problem. Um, a line one end ten above twenty in front. Other end forty above HP. Top view measures eighty mm. Distance between end projector forty five mm. For this, draw the projector and find true value, true length, true angle theta, and pi. For this, note down the answer. The true length is eighty five point four mm. The true angle theta twenty point five degree. True angle pi three sixty minus three not nine point two seven. Okay. uh finally let me remove this one i'll remove this one i'll give the front view length as 55 um this angle let it be 65 or 50 otherwise Okay, I gave five data now. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So take down the problem. One end, the line. One end, ten above, twenty in front. Front view measures fifty-five mm. Top view is inclined at fifty degrees. Distance between end projector forty-five degree. Draw the projection and find the true values. You see that the true length is seventy-six point eight. Okay, seventy-six point eight. True angle theta twenty-four point three degrees. Okay. Uh, true angle pi three sixty minus three one five point seven. This is the answer. Like that, I I I I can keep on changing the values. There is limitless. The number of possibilities are permutation combination wise. There are 
uh, I said already there are 12 possible data out of 12 you should be given any 5 out of 12 so the permutation combination is 12 C5 12 C5 possible data are there so that means nearly more than 500 types of problem I can coin it okay thank you